In order to write JavaScript, you'll need some sort of code editor. Now, you might already have one. If, for example, you already do web development, you might have a web designer, such as Adobe's Dreamweaver that you can see here, which not only supports HTML, the formatting language that defines the web pages, but also JavaScript that can be embedded into web pages or loaded up to animate or perform other programming types of tasks in your web pages. If you don't have a web development tool, then you can download a programmer's editor. In this course, I'll normally be using the Komodo Edit editor from Active State. This is a free cross-platform editor. It supports many different languages. You can use it to write HTML and to write JavaScript. This is Komodo Edit, and you see this many times in the videos in this course. And that can be downloaded from the Active State website. When you want to run your JavaScript, you'll need to load a page that uses it into a web browser. In fact, you probably want to use more than one web browser because certain behavior might be different from one browser to another, and you'll want to test that your JavaScript works in all browsers as you expect it to work. Now, if you're using Komodo Edit, you can quickly load the selected page into a browser by selecting the directory in the Places panel over here, right-clicking and show in Explorer, or if you're on the Macintosh in Finder, that will locate the page. You can now double-click it to run in your default browser. In order to understand how your JavaScript programs really work and to fix errors, to debug them, it's often useful to use the built-in developer tools supplied with your web browser. Here's a quick example showing Chrome. To load the developer tools, I select this little button up here and then click Tools, Developer Tools, and up pop these panels down here that show me my source code. I can put in a breakpoint. A breakpoint is uh, set by clicking in the margin, and that just tells the uh, browser to stop at that point when it's running my source code. So now let me refresh the source code. And you can see the breakpoint is hit. And now I can examine different information. It shows me variables along here and watch expressions. So I can enter, for example, the name of a uh, variable to see what its current value is. And it shows me that the string that's assigned to that variable at that point here is a dozen is. And there are similar capabilities in Internet Explorer. Just click Tools. Developer Tools up pops this Developer Tools window, and now I can place a breakpoint, and I can click here to start debugging. And in Firefox, select the Firefox menu, and then Web Developer Debugger. At this point, you might need to refresh your page. That now shows me the source code. And if there's more than one page that I can select, I can do it from here. But I just want to put a breakpoint. So again, I click in the margin and refresh the page again. And there's the Firefox debugger. If you happen to be using the Safari browser, you'll need to make sure that the developer menu is displayed. And to do that, you click Safari Preferences and you go over to the advanced section make sure that show develop menu in menu bar is clicked and now you're ready to go there's the develop menu so you now need to select the web inspector that displays the developer tools windows and to get to the debugger you click dom tree and switch to source code Make sure that the bookmark section up here is checked. So then you can just put your breakpoint in the margin, refresh, and off you go. So now I can examine the variables in the global variables over here. And if I want to check the value of a specific variable, there's this little command line down at the bottom here, and I can just enter the name of the variable 
it evaluates it, and it shows me what the current value is. So that's a very quick overview of some of the web development tools in the most popular web browsers. Check the ebook that comes with this course, and towards the end, you'll find more resources that will help you find more about the specific features of the web browser and the debugger that you are choosing to use.